Hi guys and welcome back to another video here on David's PC channel. Today I'm going to show you how to root your Galaxy S2. Now what is rooting? Rooting basically gives is basically a hack of the software so of the Android version that Samsung installed with its um, user interface to get more out of your device. Now you're gonna get two big benefits you're gonna get more options for applications that can do more to your device you can overclock it even to get more speed and you'll also be able to install completely different ROMs completely different user interfaces uh, with uh, different drop-down menus um, even the original Google Android so the native ones and versions from different devices and you can only do that if you have your device rooted so for rooting what you need is your Galaxy S2 with preferably a full battery but it's not necessary um, I'd recommend it though and you need two files which I'll both have listed in the description of this video for you to download also you'll need some sort of um, extraction tool like 7-zip or something like that to extract the files but I hope you all have that so to start off um, you have to put your phone into download mode what you, uh, the way you do that is you go uh, you hold volume down power and home button at the same time and while this is doing its thing, um, a warning, only do this if you're sort of confident with um, technology, I suppose. And if you're willing to do it, your warranty, warranty gets voided by doing this if they find out you did it. So, you know, think about it, then do it, because it's absolutely epic. All right, uh, now you have to hit volume up to go into download mode. Now you can also already plug in your device and before you do this, make sure you have your device drivers installed um, just so that it works on your computer. All right, switching over to the computer, um, this is just a folder with the both of the files downloaded. So this is the root file itself, and this is the software we're going to use, Odin uh, version 1.85, and just keep this file here. Uh, both of them were in a zip folder, so you have to extract them. Launching Odin. Uh, you'll see a window like this and if you did not install your drivers you will not have a yellow field saying com something and this is the USB port that it's in so now that we have it plugged in it'll show up as a device in that sense what you want to do now is select the root file under PDA uh, so you want to go to this, navigate to the file hit open in my case often because it's a German version of Windows and now that everything's like this hit start and you'll see there's a little progress going on here and it's all relatively quick and you'll see on your phone you'll get a little blue bar and then it reboots that was it the yellow triangle shows you that you have a rooted phone with all the extra functionality of a rooted phone so that was pretty much really simple to do. I'll be back once it's done booting up and I'll show you some of the benefits of rooting it. Okay, so we're back and nothing really changed and that's the way it's supposed to be. The one thing that did change though is in your application applications you will see Super User SU. Um, so make sure you update that and basically this application is sort of like your host for all the applications requiring root access for example um, set CPU which I don't have installed right now but an application that allows you to overclock your phone's processor um, that will require root access so it will go through super user and you can accept or deny the access of that application that was the one change in the uh, software so far and the second change is if we hold uh, the volume up, power and home button, we will go to a mode called clockwork, clockwork mod recovery. Now in that mode you will be able to change settings, install custom um, versions of Android from different devices and um, change your kernels for example. So this is what it looks like pretty much. It's like a BIOS. If I get it to focus that would be nice. maybe not anyways so what the way you navigate um, navigate this is by going using the power buttons uh, sorry 
the volume buttons to rock up and down. Let me quickly switch to uh, manual focus. So you should be able to see something. All right. So basically, you see you have uh, different options here of what you can do with your phone. You'll see it gets highlighted in blue. Um, for example, you can install um, a file from your SD card, and with the uh, power button, you accept that option. And touchscreen doesn't work. There's nothing you can you can do with your with your finger, so you have to use your your physical buttons. And so, for example, in here you could select a custom ROM that you downloaded from the internet. There's many different versions, and I'll have a video to show you guys how to do that. But basically, you could select it here uh, after you load it onto your phone, select it here, install it, and you have a different version of Android with the benefits and the drawbacks. So basically, thank you for checking out this video of how to root how to root the Samsung Galaxy S2. It's a fairly easy, fairly easy procedure, and I'll be giving you another update on how to install a custom ROM and sort of an overview of all the features you have now or all the options you have with your phone after it's been rooted. Take care. See you next time.